community aspect in the studios, which I thought was really nice. Um, that you're actually giving something back to the community and that it was like a regeneration of a space, so you were going to be pretty much the first person in it, so you can make it really your own. Also, that you got to like work with different creative people, so it wasn't just designers, there was a large mix of like photographers, hat makers, film events, like quite a big mix, it's nice. Um, at the moment it's six months and then the council are looking into they just wanted to see how the project worked and then hopefully we're going to get the go ahead to carry on having the space because I think they're really pleased with how things are going. Because of, sort of the nature of the project where you have to have the open studios and you have to have the workshops as well to have, have one of the spaces so a lot of the time you are working with other people and there's a lot of there's a lot of communication. I think it's really different from other studios that we put in. I think it's really nice because you do genuinely work together on stuff and there's no way that you can be here and not know other people and like, actually build a friendship with them. Yeah, I think definitely because also there's a lot of people who you have hat makers who need websites but you've also got web designers in the space so they're working, they can work with each other. You've got photographers who I'm working with and photographers doing sort of a mashup of some of their photography so they've got interesting stuff in their workshop in their portfolio sorry so it kind of there's a good aspect of being able to sort of bounce off each other pleased is happening i think i was really looking to get my own studio once i finished uni because i knew that that was a big a big thing for me to have my own space so that i could start working on things and then i could like really start pushing myself forward but i think it was definitely something that really really did affect my decision. I think probably the only thing was I'm not from South Kelvin myself and I don't live in this area so some people who are in the studios are from this area so they kind of know the they know the local people so when it came to doing workshops I felt like I've maybe had to push my workshops a bit more than some other people who might know more locals in the area or know the places to go. But then also since we've been here there's been like people saying, Oh you should go to this place, these sort of people will be interested in your workshop. So I think it um, yeah, that's the hardest thing but I think it's a little bit um, yeah, I've been working through good things as a result of this is that we're, they want us to do a legacy project which is basically that each um, creative studio does something that goes into South Kilburn as more of a permanent thing like leaving a mark so um, we're in the process of deciding what they are I think that's going to be something definitely to watch in the local area and see what um, see what each creative studio does and to see the result in the local area will be really interesting.